All right, everybody. So I'm gonna take you through a day of morning chores on a horse farm. First things first. Here's a little trophy room and viewing room here. You gotta clock in. 8.30 to see what time I get off today. So my job is when I first come in here is just to check on everybody, but uh, the big important thing is to get everyone fed and get everyone that's inside the barn outside. Got my feed bucket here. Need some more grain. Gotta get all these lights on. Turn this light on here. This is classy right here. This is Rosie. Yeah, uh, you hungry, huh? Now we got a little treat for you right here. The first baby on the farm has hit the dirt. Look at this little cutie, huh? Look at them spaghetti legs. You're all legs, bud. Isn't that right? We'll go in here and see them real quick. What do you think, huh? Yeah, you good girl. Yeah. All right, so we'll get more grain here and get to feeding them. These two mares that are in the arena here, I'm gonna take them outside. Get my gloves on and get a halter here. This halter should work. Come on. Yeah, you ready to go out, huh? You ready to go out, huh? Get back. Hey, come here. Hey, don't be pushy. Put the old halter on here. And with all horses, you just gotta be careful because they all can be dangerous. But once you get to know them, you kind of get to know their attitude and all that stuff. But this girl, she's just a little antsy other than that. She doesn't want to hurt anybody. But accidents can happen, huh? It's the same thing every morning over and over again. Sometimes it changes, but they always need fed. They need water. And you learn a lot. Whoa, 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 whoa. They're all right. And there's always a lot of gates to open and close on a ranch, so that's always fun. Come on. All right, get that clipped on there. Gates, gates, gates. Every day. Come on. Good girl. And we take the old halter off here. All right, you're free to play. Then we'll go back in there and get her friend and bring her out. Always take these two girls out first because I'll show you here in a minute. Like I said, it's all about being on a schedule, you kind of want to keep it the same because when you change something up, sometimes that's when accidents happen. And I put this mare here and that mare here, and you can see that round pin over there with that uh, hay bale. We put a stud out there. And I usually don't like bringing the mares past the stud because they like to get a little excited. Especially with studs, you kind of want to keep them on a schedule, that's for sure. What's going on, sweetie? You guys ready to eat? I forget how many horses we got here, but it's quite a bit. But here's that round pin I was talking about that court goes in that uh one stud and they the studs you got to be careful with because they can get an attitude and they can hurt you. Let's go outside. Halter on. You want to be careful with their heads too because you get a horse that's swinging around, their heads can be dangerous. It's a lot of weight swinging and they will get you. That's for sure. Gates, gates, gates. Ready to go outside, sweetie? Come on. Yes, I know you're excited. But here in Nebraska, it's gonna be a beautiful uh, day here for February. That's the best sound in the world right there, is those hooves. We're gonna have a lot of uh, babies sitting in the dirt here before too long. It's gonna be a busy spring. Come on, sweet. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. Back, 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 back. There we go. Halter off and you're free to go. Now I'll come back out here and uh, grain these guys when I grain everybody else. But I like to get everyone inside grain and get that all taken care of first before I get outside and uh, take care of all these guys here. So always got to make sure you hook the gate good because you don't want them getting out. They're all ready to eat out here. Now we're going to get one of the studs out right now. And you always want to be proactive. I come out here first and get his gate open. Get his gate open. And then I always feed the stud across from him because while you're taking him out, this stud over here can make noise and that kind of gives him an attitude. These guys are all about dominance, so. 
Here you go, bud. Full scoop. And they can get excited. You gotta be careful with these guys. They like to bite sometimes, and horse bites suck. Come on, come on, head down. Head down, you always wanna watch these guys because they can get you. Head down. Head down. Come on. Come on, get in there. Get in there. Get in there, whoa, whoa. Come on, come on. I always kinda do that just to get him to go away from me so that way he doesn't come back and try biting me. So he's outside. He's the one I always worry about because he's the top dog on the farm. So he thinks he's the boss, so get the gate shut. What do you think, huh? It's gonna be a nice day. I'm gonna get him fed his grain real quick. He loves carrots. All most horses love carrots. Some horses don't though. Give him that. Give him a full scoop of grain here. Okay, so he's done on that. And then he gets another little bit of something here. This is beet, beet pellets. Beet pellets right there, that's what that looks like. There's some other grain stuff in there too. Throw the scoop in there. There you go, buddy. And then I wait to take this guy out until I get everybody else on the farm fed. We'll shut this door here. Grab our old feed bucket here. All right. We're definitely gonna need some more grain. So I'll grab another bag of grain. Fire up the old gator here. About forgot some special supplement here from one of the horses. Better get that. Oh, she's all out. Here we go. give these uh, mares out here hay bells but we uh, put hay nets over them so that way they can eat on it all these girls get a half a scoop what's going on sweetie half a scoop half a scoop half a scoop half a scoop what's going on sweetie she gets a full scoop get your foot out of there half a scoop half a scoop down the line. Fill up some more grain. Hopefully it'll run over the bucket. All right. Full scoop. Then these little ones here. There we go. Breakfast time. Oh, who knocked it over, huh? Who did it? Always doing this all the time. All right. Oh, are you ready? They can get mean. There we go, yeah. Here, buddy. Yeah, you're a good boy. Come here. Come here. Come here. What? Shut the gator off here. And this is an old round bell with the old hay net on it. Throw this out. Some alfalfa. And then we'll load up the back of this gator here with some hay. I can find the pitchfork. Oh, there we go. This thing comes in handy right here. All right, so. We'll start peeling. You always want to peel these hay, hay bales all the way down to where they end at. If not, it's a pain. There's one strand. And it is dusty, I'll tell you that. This hay gets there where I find hay where I shouldn't find hay at. All right, we'll get the little trusty uh, pitchfork here. And we'll start throwing it in the back of the gator. Whew. Get this thing filled up here. The work never ends. Look at all that dust. 
That's probably good for one load. We'll definitely have to come back. You hungry, buddy? Huh? We got a boy and two girls in here. Oh, is it nap time? Is it nap time, huh? Yeah. What? You getting jealous? Come here, buddy. This guy's a really, really good horse. You getting up? You hungry? You ready for some hay? Let's get some hay. Come on. Don't be nibbling on me. There we go. 